hi there grade 6 pupils welcome back again to another video lesson so we are now on the sixth week of our discussion for grade 6 mathematics quarter 2 so during the pip week so we have discussed and studied about uh, base and exponent and how to uh, write numbers in exponential notation and then how to write exponential notation into its expanded form and then evaluate and then as well as to evaluate uh, exponential expressions using the given values so for this week we will be discussing on how to interpret and explain the gemdas rule so during your uh, grade 5 you have studied and uh, learned about the PEMDAS rule or the MDAS rule. So, dito, GEMDAS rule na. So, kung ano ba yung G and E, i-discuss po natin yan. So, for our lesson objective, we will interpret the GEMDAS rule and perform two or more operations. So, before we proceed on performing uh, operations, two or more operations involving GEMDAS rule, let us first discuss the GEMDAS rule. So GEMDAS stands for grouping, exponent, multiplication, division, and subtraction. Okay, so yan po ang ibig sabihin ng GEMDAS. So, ang nauna po natin dito is grouping. So, meron po tayong mga grouping symbols na kailangang i-consider kapag nagpa-perform po tayo ng operations. Lalo na kapag may mga grouping symbols yan. And then as well as, meron din tayong exponent. Kaya nga, diniscuss muna natin yung uh, base and exponent kasi nga, uh, related po yung lesson dito. Dito sa GEMDAS rule. And then, the four fundamental operations, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So, here are the grouping symbols. So, grouping symbols include parentheses. Ayan, yan po ang itsura ng parentheses. And then, brackets. And then, braces. Yung tinatawag nating curly brackets. So, yun po yung mga uh, grouping symbols natin. And then, yung exponent, ito po yung number na sinusulat sa itaas ng ating base. Okay, so, so may mga additional rules po tayo na kailangan nating i-follow. So, kasi traditional na ginagamit natin yung PEMDAS rule na yan. Pero habang nagbabago, lumilipas ang araw, may mga rules po na nadadagdag na kailangan nating i-take into consideration. Kailangan po nating sundan. Una, Operations inside the parentheses should be calculated first. In case of more than one grouping, the innermost grouping must be solved first. So, may mga expressions po kasi tayo na maraming grouping symbols na nakalagay. Okay. So, kapag may nakita po tayong expression na nakaparentheses, yun muna po ang kailangan nating isolve, i-calculate. And then, Kapag maraming grouping symbols ang nakikita natin doon sa isang expression, yung pinaka-loob, yung tinatawag nating innermost, yun muna po ang kailangan nating isolve hanggang makita natin na wala ng grouping symbols. So, syempre, kapag natapos na natin yun, tsaka lang natin uh, magpo-proceed doon sa multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So, kailangan muna nating unahin yung parenthesis o yung grouping symbol. The multiplication and division operations must be solved first before addition and subtraction. So, since order of operations po ang ating pinag-uusapan, kailangan po nating unahin yung dalawang operation, yung multiplication and division. Tsaka pa lang natin uh, isosolve yung addition and subtraction. Tandaan natin, M dash, multiplication and division. After nun, addition and subtraction. And then finally, in multiplication and division, left to right rule must be taken into consideration. Same rules apply to addition and subtraction. So, kagaya nga ng sinabi ko kanina, kailangan po natin 
consider yung left to right rule. So, sabi ko nga, kapag nauna ang division, division muna, and then multiplication. So, wala namang kaso kung nauna ang multiplication. So, ayan, basta multiplication, tapos division. O kaya naman, division, multiplication. So, ganun din po sa addition and subtraction. So, alin man sa dalawa ang mauna, okay lang. Basta gamitin natin yung left to right rule. Magsimula tayo sa kaliwa, papuntang kanan. So, para mas maintindihan nyo yung rules na sinasabi natin kanina, let us apply them in the given examples. First, ayan. So, kailangan natin tanggalin yung parenthesis. Eh, may mga operations tayo nakikita sa loob ng parenthesis. So, kung i-apply natin yung MDAS, ayan, MDAS, So, ayan yung parenthesis. Nakikita nyo naman. Ang kasunod na operation niya is M. Stands for multiplication. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin pag-multiply yung 12 tsaka 3. Itong dalawa na to. So, 12 times 3, we have 36. And then, divided by 4 plus 5. Minus 6. Next. So, after natin sa multiplication, we have division. So, ngayon, yung 36 na nakuha natin, i-divide po natin sa 4. So, 36 divided by 4, we have 9 plus 5 minus 6. So, katapos ng division, kasunod niya is addition. So, kailangan natin pag-add yung 9 tsaka 5. So, 9 plus 5, that is 14. And then finally, natanggal na natin yung parenthesis. So, yung 6, isusubtract lang po natin sa 14. So, 14 minus 6, we have 8. So, this will be our final answer. So, ayan, sinundan po natin yung rule. PEMDAS. Next example, number 2. Ayan. So, dito, Meron tayong nakaparenthesis, ganun pa rin, apply natin yung PEMDAS. So, yung 16, tsaka 3, kunin natin yung product nila. So, 16 times 3, kapag pinagmultiply po yan, that is 48. Divided by 8. Minus 2 plus 5. Next. Katapos natin sa multiplication, next is division. So, 48 divided by 8, that is 6 minus 2 plus 5. Okay. So, apply natin yung left to right rule. Yan. Left to right rule. So, ang naunang operation dito, katapos ng 6 is subtraction, tapos addition. So, kung left to right rule ang susundan natin, magsusubtract muna tayo, tapos mag a -add. So, magiging ganito siya, 6 minus 2, that is 4. Tapos, tsaka pa lang natin i-add sa 5. And that is 9. So, kasi kung susundan natin dito, PEMDAS, kailangan mauna yung add. Kaya lang, nagbabago nga yung uh, panahon kailangan po nating sundan yung left to right rule kung alin ang unang operation na nakalagay. So, our final answer is 9. So, let us have the third example. So, ayan yung ating grouping symbol ay nasa bandang right. So, following the PEMDAS rule, so, syempre, yung grouping symbol muna ang ating kailangan tanggalin or unahin. So, P. So, sulat natin 9 times 4 plus, ayan, so 13 minus 10 divided by 2. So, ito muna ang kailangan natin i-perform. 10 divided by 2, that is 5. Ngayon, kailangan natin i-subtract yung 5 sa 13. So, 13 minus 5, that is 8. So, magiging ganito siya, 9 times 4 plus 8. So, natanggal na yung ating 
parenthesis. Next, a line ng operation na kailangan nating unahin. Is it multiplication or addition? Siyempre, multiplication. So, we have to multiply 9 and 4 first. So, 9 times 4, we have 36 plus 8. So, ayan. 36 plus 8, we have 44. So, that will be our final answer. So, let us have example number 4. So, ayan. Yung ating nakaparentesis ay nakasulat sa pinakauna. So, ganun pa rin. PEMDAS. So, unahin natin yung nakaparentesis. So, that is 15 plus 9. 24. Next. Since yung multiplication and division, hindi naman sila naka-arrange consecutively. So, ibig sabihin, hindi sila magkasunod, pwede po natin silang i-perform or i-calculate ng magkasabay. Solve natin sila ng magkasabay. So, 24 times 3, that is 72. And then, 18 divided by 2, that is 9. So, ngayon, pag-subtract natin yung dalawang numbers na yan, we'll have 63. So, that will be our final answer. So, ayan. So, ang tatandaan lang natin dito, kahit na uh, basta hindi sila magkasunod, pwede po natin silang i-perform ng magkasabay. So, for our next example, number 5. So, dito, kailangan muna nating unahin yung 7 times 8, yung multiplication. So, sulat natin PEMDAS. M muna. So, since sa parenthesis, M ang kasunod niya. So, 7 times 8. So, magiging ganito siya. 19 plus 7 times 8, 56. Minus 32 divided by 4. So, para matanggal yung parenthesis, i-add lang natin 19 and 56 will have 75. Minus 32 divided by 4. Next, i-divide natin yung 32 sa 4. Okay, kasi hindi po pwedeng 75 minus 32. Kasi, kung order of operations nga ang pag-uusapan, mauuna po ang division kesa sa subtraction. So, magiging 75 minus 32 divided by 4, that is 8. So, 75 minus 8. So, 75 minus 8 is 67. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito, 30, uh, 75 minus 32 divided by 4, kahit na nauna po yung subtraction, kailangan po natin i-consider yung order of operations. Mauna yung nasa dulo. Kasi, alimbawa, inuna natin yung 75 minus 32. Pakita lang natin. 75 minus 32. That is... 43. And then, i-divide natin yung 43 sa 4, makakaroon po siya ng remainder. Okay, so that is 10, 10, remainder 3. Ayan, kaya mahalaga po na sundan po natin yung pagkasunod-sunod po ng operations. So, this time, for example number 6, yung ating examples, ating example ay nag involve na po ng exponent. So, ano muna ang uh, gagawin natin dito sa ating given? So, as you can see, meron po tayo dito naka parenthesis. And then, sa loob ng parenthesis, meron po tayo dito 8 squared. So, ang gagawin muna natin is express natin yung 8 squared, yung product niya. That is 8 times 8. 64. So, isusulat po natin 5 times 64 minus 3 cube. So, that is 3 times 3 times 3 27 plus 16 divided by 4. So, hindi pa tayo tapos doon sa loob ng parenthesis. So, 5 times 64. So, we will multiply 64 by 5 
4 times 5, that is 20. So, we'll write 0 and then carry 2. 6 times 5, 30 plus 2, 32. So, our product is 320. Minus 27 plus 16 divided by 4. Okay. So, alin ang next na unahin natin? Yung pong 16 divided by 4. So, 320 minus 27 plus, so the quotient of 16 and 4 is 4. And then, ano ang next na uh, step? So, since yung addition and subtraction, pwede naman silang magpalitan. Okay, so, so pwede po nating isubtract muna itong dalawa, 320 and 27 Tapos, i-add natin sa 4. So, 320 minus 27. 0 minus 7 cannot be. So, manghihiram tayo dito. Ito magiging 1. Ito magiging 10. 10 minus 7, that is 3. And then, 1 minus 2 cannot be. So, ang gagawin po natin, manghihiram tayo dito sa 3. Magiging to siya. And then, itong 1 magiging 11. So, 11 minus 2 now, that is 9. And then, 2, bring down lang kasi wala naman pong isosubtract. So, we have 293. And then, plus 4. So, 293 plus 4, we have 297. So, this will be our final answer. So, let's have number 7. Ayan. Ayan. So, dito, mapapansin natin, may 3 squared. And then, meron din po sa uh, nakaparentesis. So, pwede nating express yung 3 squared. And then, i-express din natin or kunin natin yung sagot doon sa uh, expression na nasa loob ng parentesis. So, that will become 45 divided by... 3 squared, that is 3 times 3, 9. Plus, so the product of uh, 9 and 7 is 63. Minus 12. Next, 45 divided by 9, that is 5. Plus, 63 minus 12. Okay, next. 5 plus 63, we have 68 minus 12. So, what is 68 minus 12? So, 68 minus 12, 8 minus 2, 6, 6 minus 1, 5. So, our answer here is 56.